Hi everyone, Sandra Duran Wilson here, and welcome to this Mixed Media Soul Sparks for YouTube. I want to bring to you some different ideas of how you can use different products in unusual ways. And one of the things that I like to do is to change the absorbency of my surface and to change also the texture. So what I have here is just a, a stretched gallery wrap canvas. But what I've done is I've created an absorbent surface to where I can work with this as if I were working with watercolor, but yet it is acrylic. And I can do the same thing on mat board, on paper, and I'm gonna show you how to get a thick layer and a thin layer and some options. I just wanna first talk about, this is absorbent ground. This is made by Golden. And it, um, it's made to go on thin to build it up in layers. And so I'll show you a trick if you wanna put on a thick layer, what you can do with that. So let me just get, if there was nothing in my little jar, I've got a big, tub of it here and so we'll get this open all right it tends to want to separate so let me just mix it up it's got this kind of thick viscosity but it's you know it's nice and fluid so I've got a piece of mat board. It's important you want to gesso your board first if you're using a wood panel, if you're using paper. Now, if you're buying one of these, uh, using one of these stretched canvases, then you don't need to gesso it because they probably already come gessoed. But if you have paper or panel, gesso first. I like to gesso both sides, let that dry. And I'm just using my knife to spread. You could also use a brush to apply this in it. I really want it fairly thin. So can you see that thickness as I build it up? So I'm going to have it thin over on this side and then I could build up those layers. But let's say I want it thick. I'm going to put a little more out here. Then you're going to mix it with some light molding paste. And that's what this is. It's almost like a, like a meringue. It's got air induced into a paste. So you see how fluffy it is. I'm just going to mix it on my board and why the reason you would do that is because if you put this absorbent ground on so thick no matter what surface you put it on it's going to crack but when you add the when you mix in the light molding paste with it it's going to keep the absorbency of the absorbent ground but it's going to infuse that quality of the light molding paste that kind of air whipped quality into it. So I can put it on rather thick and I can get some nice texture with it too. So you wanna get this on and then you're gonna let it dry before you paint on it. So remember, gesso your surface first, let that dry, then mix your absorbent ground with your light molding paste and then spread that for a thick layer. If you want thin layers, just build it up with a brush. This is thin layers built up with a brush. And let me just show you, I can spray some water on here and I'm gonna use acrylic inks because they are the, the most fluid. And I'm just gonna drop some on here just to show you what this is gonna look like. There we go. And let me just get a brush with a lot of water. This purple is very, very intense. And I'll take some of this off. 
I'm going for almost like a stain. You know, there's like, you've got thick coats, you've got washes, a stain is even more water. And you might have heard that you can't add a lot of water to your acrylic and get it to stay. Well, it depends on your surface. So this surface, you can put a super diluted layer of acrylic on here. I've got a little brown on my, my brush here. I like that kind of combo. Then, spray some more water on it. Really get it moving. Wipe it off to where it's just a stain. But then there's a trick to really get this to stay. Once this is completely dry, you're going to have to seal it. So I'm just going to put a little alcohol on there. Come back with another color. I can build up these layers when it's wet. Come on. Ooh, too much. There we go. So I'm going to put some over here so I'm not wasting it. So check out what I do here. Water. Just let it run off of there. And I'm going to tilt this over and let it run. Now, if I want it darker in some areas, I just keep building up those layers. Wipe it back. And when you get it to the point that you're happy with it, let it dry completely, and then you're going to seal it. And I like to make a mixture of matte medium and gloss medium, about half and half. And I mix them together in a little cup, and then I just brush that on. So I'm going to finish some of these and um, add them to the end of the video so that you can get some different ideas of how these may look. But I just like how, how you can work with this and you can just really start to even add pencils and markers and stuff into here and such a soft watercolor-like feeling to it. But again, you have to seal it when it's when it's done in order to, to keep it from rubbing off because there's so little paint, there's very little binder. So I'll run through it again. You want to gesso your surface, let that dry, put your absorbent ground on. You can mix it with light molding paste to create a thicker layer. Let that dry and then continue to build up very, very thin layers of paint almost like a stain or a wash. Once that's completely dry, you can seal it with, you know, I like to have that softness. I don't want a super glossy thing because I think that kind of takes away from this finish. So I do the matte medium and the gloss medium mixture to get kind of a satin finish. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, try it out if you have any questions. Go ahead and write them in the chat box and ask me and I'll see you the next time. Join the Creative Awakening community on Facebook, where you'll be able to post your art, connect with other creatives around the world, and ask questions. Use the hashtag Mixed Media Soul Sparks when posting your work on social media. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week.